A world first video of a new dolphin species has been captured in the waters off Broome. Ten news cameras helped record what some unkindly say is the world's most unattractive dolphin. But to scientists, the shy snub fin is a joy to behold. On the surface, it looks like a pod of common bottlenose dolphins frolicking off the Kimberley coast of Western Australia. But these creatures are a rare new dolphin discovery known as the snub fin, captured clearly on video for the first time. Oh, look at these guys here. Look. look. Identified as a unique species three years ago, scientists have since been scouring Australia's northern waters for the snubfin, an odd-looking creature with a distinctive bulbous head and blunt fin. This week, a research team led by wildlife group WWF spent four days in waters off Broome. And finally, they had a breakthrough, sighting dozens of dolphins. Two, three, four, five, six. In the last couple of days, we've had fantastic weather and feeding activity and the right tide, so some of the best sightings we've had so far up here. It's the biggest boost to their research on the porpoise-like creatures so far. Usually they barely raise their heads above the water, but they were more playful than ever. There's almost nothing known about this species. We are literally starting from scratch. Researchers spent up to 10 hours a day on the water, gathering vital population and geographical data. They even recorded sound bites of the animals communicating. Did you get to hear them? Yeah, little party popper sounds. Researchers also used an aggressive looking but harmless technique to retrieve a DNA sample, shooting a dart to snare a small piece of tissue from behind the dorsal fin for genetic examination. It leaves just a tiny scratch on the animal but provides a wealth of information. The problem with studying endangered species is actually finding them out here in their natural habitat. These shy creatures don't really like boats, so it's a real waiting game. But they are mammals and eventually have to come up for air, and when they do, we're ready and waiting. It's not only a test of patience, but costly. This expedition made possible through WWF and corporate sponsor ING Direct who are pouring money from new online statements into the Snubfin project. You can't force nature, and I think in your business you have a lot of things under control, um, but especially now we see that, yeah, as soon as you want to do something in the environment, you're, you're really uh, uh, in, uh, playing a different ball game. Researchers are not only trying to work out how many Snubfin dolphins exist, but exactly where. While there seem to be significant numbers here in the Kimberley, the creature has also been spotted in waters off the top end and as far east as Queensland. And that's a lot of area to cover on just one little research boat. And they may not have much time. The snubby is already under threat from fishing net entrapments, boat traffic and coastal development. WWF hopes Australians will join the plight to protect them. It may be the world's ugliest dolphin. Some people have said that, but to those of us that have seen them, you know, I'm just absolutely blown away by this creature. They are absolutely endearing. In Broome, Emily Rice, 10 News.